Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. So I have been getting a lot of questions about Upwork in 2024. There have been a few changes with regards to connects and how to apply to jobs. So in this updated tutorial, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started as an Upwork freelancer. I'll show you how to sign up, how to edit your profile, how to apply to jobs and how to spend and use connects. I'll also teach you some of the best practices so that you're not wasting money and wasting connects in order to apply to jobs. Before I became a YouTuber full time, I was doing a lot of work on Upwork and reached top rated status and top rated plus status multiple times. I've earned over 90,000 US dollars since I started on Upwork, so I do have a lot of knowledge and experience about how the platform works. If you're looking for specific tutorials about Upwork, I have a playlist which I've linked you to in the description below. So you can check that playlist if you have a more detailed question. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go to upwork.com. Now, before you create a profile and sign up, you can look for jobs. And this is a great idea to do first to see if Upwork is even something you're interested in. In order to browse for jobs, at the top here beside search, click on talent and search by jobs. So if you are a client wanting to hire someone, you can search for talent. Or if you want to buy a project, you can search for projects. Otherwise, we want to click on jobs. So let's type in something like video editor and click enter. Now, the majority of these jobs are all ones you would do remotely, so you don't have to be living in a certain location. Under jobs, you can also search by different categories and by experience level, but I'm going to go into more detail about that a little later on. You can also see different categories at the top here, IT, AI services, design and creative, and you can browse jobs in these categories as well. So let's talk about signing up to Upwork. So what you'll do, again, you'll go to upwork.com, you'll click on sign up. Now you can also do this on your mobile phone and I've linked you in the description below to my mobile phone tutorial as well. So make sure you click, I'm a freelancer looking for work. Now it is free to sign up to Upwork. It is free to apply to some jobs per month. You have to apply to jobs using something called Connects and you do get 50 free connects, I believe, when you first sign up to Upwork, and then 10 free connects each month. I'm going to talk more about that later on as well. So click apply as a freelancer. You're going to put in your first and last name, your email, choose a password, and then your country. And make sure that you click that you understand and agree to Upwork's terms of services and create your account. Now you can only have one Upwork account, so do not create more than one. So the next thing you have to do is verify your email. And once you do that, they're going to ask you a few questions. So click on get started. They're going to ask you about your freelancing experience. So if you're brand new, if you have some experience or if you are an expert, then you'll click next. They're going to ask you what your biggest goal is for freelancing. If you don't want to fill this in, you can also click skip for now. Here they'll ask you if you want to find your own opportunities or you'd like to package up your work for clients to buy. I recommend just clicking you want to find opportunities yourself. You can also put that you are open to contract to hire opportunities and then click next create a profile. So you can either import from LinkedIn or you can upload your resume or you can click on fill out manually. So when you're filling this out, you're going to put in your professional role now, this is something you can always change later on, but when you are applying to be a freelancer on Upwork, you want to make sure it looks really good because even though you can change it later, you want your application to be accepted. Let's say you don't have a lot of experience, but you're interested in being a thumbnail designer on Upwork or a video editor. So what I recommend you do is when you're going on Upwork, where before we were searching for jobs, if you search for talent and type in video editor, for example, or whatever job you're interested in doing, you're going to get a bunch of different profiles. So you can look at some of the top rated or top rated plus profiles to get an idea of what you would like to put in here. Of course, customizing it so that it is applicable and honest and applies to you. So for example, professional video editor, motion graphics designer, so you could put video editor, graphic designer, something like that. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. And they say, add your experience. So if you have relevant work experience, add it here. If you don't have any relevant experience or nothing to put here, you could click skip for now, add your education, 
add whatever languages you speak, then add your skills. You can put a maximum of 15 skills. So you could type, for example, let's say Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, etc. I recommend filling out all 15 skills. Then you're going to write an overview. So again, if you look at some example profiles, especially ones who have had success, you can see here, this is an example. He's used some emojis to kind of make it even more captivating. And this guy has as well. And you're just going to go through and fill out your portfolio and add some examples of your work. Now, if you have not done a lot of work before, but let's say you're interested in becoming a YouTube thumbnail designer or a video editor, I would recommend creating sample pieces of your work to be able to upload because no one's going to hire you for a job if you don't have any experience and you have no examples of any work. So even if you're not doing work for a client, you can still create some interesting examples, create some thumbnails, uh, use royalty-free footage to create a short video and upload that as something you have created as an example of your skill set. Now, you could also use ChatGPT or another AI tool to ask it to help you create a profile overview. For example, create an interesting, captivating Upwork profile overview for a beginner graphic designer, enticing clients, skills include all Adobe software and Corel and more. So here is an example. ChatGPT is creating an awesome profile overview and you can go ahead and edit this so it's more personal, adding any other skills you have and removing any skills that they said you have that you don't have. So here's an example of my profile. You can see I have a profile picture. Make sure to use a real picture of yourself and don't use a cartoon. You have your biography, your hourly rate that you'll have to include as well. And you'll also be able to fill out your portfolio. And here's where you can include samples of your work. And again, if you haven't already produced work for any clients, and you want to be a video editor, create some sample videos or create some sample graphics if you want to apply to a graphic design job. Just make sure to have some stuff in your portfolio. You want to fill out as much as you can of your profile in order to be accepted as a freelancer. So once you have been accepted as a freelancer, you can start to apply to jobs. Now, one of the questions I have been getting a lot recently is people have had their freelancer account approved and they haven't received their connects yet. So you can see here that the freelancer basic plan receives 10 free connects each month. And also you'll receive 50 free connects within 48 hours when you create an Upwork profile for the first time. So a lot of these people who are messaging me have just been accepted and they're not seeing any connects yet. So wait at least 48 hours. And then if you haven't received your connects yet, you can contact the Upwork support team to ask what about uh, these free connects. And if you decide to go with a Freelancer Plus membership, which costs $20 a month, I believe, as of February 16th, the Freelancer Plus uh, plan will increase from $15 US to $20 US per month, and you'll get 100 connects each month once the $20 rate kicks in. Right now, you receive 80 a month. But if you don't want to spend any money yet, and you just want to start applying to jobs with the free plan, you can take advantage of the free connects that you will receive, and you will receive 10 connects each month for free anyways. And you don't have to subscribe to any plan in order to get connects. You can purchase connects. They cost 15 cents per connect. So now let's get into the best practices for finding and applying to jobs. Once your profile has been accepted, you can click here on find work. And right here where it says search for jobs, just type in any job that you are interested in. For example, we're going to type in thumbnail designer because there are a lot of YouTube thumbnail designer jobs available. And this is going to give us so many more options for searching. Now, it's really important when you are applying to jobs not to just apply to all of the jobs because you want to use your connects wisely. So we can filter the jobs with these categories on the side. You can search by experience level, so what experience you have. You could also search by hourly rate jobs or fixed price jobs. And the difference is that with an hourly rate job, you will use Upwork's desktop app and essentially it will track the hours that you are working and you will get paid, let's say $20 an hour, $30 an hour, as long as you are using that app to track the hours that you are working. The other option is a fixed price job where the client essentially puts money into escrow and that money is released to you once you complete the job successfully. So you can search if you're looking just for a fixed price job or hourly, 
or keep it open. Now, number of proposals. This is important. If you're trying to save on connects, I recommend not applying to jobs that already have 20 to 50 proposals because that means you already have a lot of competition. You want to sort of apply right away or when there are less than 20 proposals to make sure that you will get the job. So let's filter these. Now you can search by clients that are payment verified. A client can always make themselves payment verified later on, but I would recommend clicking that. You want to make sure that the client is going to pay you. Now, do not accept any jobs where the person says you must contact them on Telegram or they're going to pay you in another way that's not on Upwork. A lot of these are scams. They'll get you to do the work for free uh, or they'll try to get you to pay some money. You should never pay any client anything, not even one dollar. So if anyone tries to ask you for money, report them. And if they do not send you a job offer on Upwork, also report them uh, because they're trying to get free work. So don't add them to Telegram or whatever. If they send you a job offer that's funded through Upwork and then they want to talk to you via email, that's okay as long as the job offer has already been sent on Upwork. You can also search by client history. So I like to apply to jobs where the client has already hired someone in the past. And finally, you can filter by connects needed. So this is actually quite surprising to me because in the past, you could apply to a lot of jobs for between four to six connects. And I'm seeing now that there's only one job that requires four or less connects. And the rest of them are between eight to 16 connects. So that's a lot especially considering you only get 10 free connects a month. So, you know, maybe the idea behind them doing this is that there's less competition because in the past, so many people were applying to these jobs. But unfortunately, if you have a free account and you only get 10 connects per month, you know, you can only really apply to one job or so per month for free. Uh, in any case, we can filter by all the jobs that require eight or four or less connects. And so then here are all the different jobs that meet this criteria. So you can see here where the client is from and you can also see how much money they have spent. Let's see this person, for example, it was posted two days ago. They have payment verified. They spent over $10,000. Let's click on this job listing. So here you can see what they want. They've given examples. They've said how much they're willing to pay. And to apply to this job, just click on apply now. So you can either propose with your general profile or a specialized profile. You don't need more than one profile on Upwork, so general profile is fine. And then here, under how do you want to be paid, it says by milestone or by project. I recommend just clicking by project. Milestone would be, for example, let's say you are going to edit a video for someone or create a video. Maybe the first draft, you get paid a certain amount um, and the second draft or final draft, the remaining. But if it's just, you know, one thumbnail or something by project is easier. So for example, you can put in how much you are willing to bid for the job, how much you are willing to do the job for. Upwork takes a 10% freelancer service fee. So if the job was $10, Upwork takes a dollar, you would receive $9. Then you would put how long this project will take. And then here you can put in your cover letter. With the cover letter, I like to keep it short and sweet. I have a video on how to write a cover letter, but essentially you want it to be short, saying that you are you know, an experienced graphic design artist. You could say what programs you use. And then most importantly, either uploading samples of your work or providing a link to samples of your work. So they can see some examples of the thumbnails you have created in the past. You can either click upload and add the project files here or add links to samples of your work. Now there's also an option for booster proposal. And this is if you want to spend connects to bid for one of the four top uh, spaces of the client's proposal list, but this is not necessary. You do not have to do this. And when you are ready, you can click send for eight connects. So once you have applied to a job, you'll be able to view your proposals by clicking here on proposals.
And also under this tab, you can see any active proposals, submitted proposals, and any invitations to interview or job offers. So I will say that it can be frustrating with applying to jobs, especially when it's quite expensive if you don't have a lot of money to buy connects, even though it's only 15 cents per connect, that can really add up if some of the jobs you are applying to are between eight to 16 connects each, especially if you are applying to 20 jobs and not getting hired. What I will say is that once you get some ongoing clients, especially for video editing, thumbnail creation, and you have a client who really likes you and likes to work with you, then you will get ongoing work with that client and you won't have to pay for connects. You'll just have continuous work. So it's really about getting a good client base on Upwork to have ongoing work and eventually people will send you interviews and job offers without even you having to apply. So let's go into payment. How do you get paid on Upwork? So there are multiple ways to get paid depending on what country you are from. You can also open up a WISE.com bank account and get US bank account details and get paid directly into your WISE account even if you're not from the US. So there's all these different options, a wire transfer. There's also the option to get paid via PayPal or Payoneer. So in order to adjust your payment settings, if you click on the small icon with your picture and click here on settings, so here we have your billing and payments. Now, this is not for how you get paid. This is for how you pay for connects. So if you are subscribing to the Freelancer Plus plan, you can add a billing method or if you are purchasing connects as well. Otherwise, you're going to click here on get paid. And here is where you can adjust your withdrawal methods by clicking add a method and choose if you want to get paid directly into your bank account or into a local bank. You can also set your withdrawal schedule. So if you want to save on service fees, if you have to pay a small fee every time you get a deposit, you might make your minimum withdrawal amount much larger to save on fees. And if you want to purchase more connects or change your membership, you can click here on membership and connects. And here you can change your plan. You can see I have the Freelancer Plus plan. You can also click on Buy Connects if you would like to buy them. So you can see here, you can buy 10 connects for $1.50, 300 for $45, etc. So, you know, it's not cheap to buy the connects, but if you end up getting a job that pays well and you end up getting an ongoing client because of it, then it is worthwhile. And because connects aren't super cheap, and you don't get a lot of them, there is less competition for jobs. So that is one thing that's great. And once you purchase the connects, you can see that they will expire a year from today. So if you buy, you know, 300 today, they'll expire a year from now. And unused connects roll over to the next month. So I highly recommend you guys check out Upwork. I recommend just browsing the different jobs available and see if you find something that looks good for you. And before just applying to all sorts of different jobs, really make sure your portfolio and your profile look awesome. Compare them to top rated plus freelancers in the same industry that you are in and make sure your profile is just as good as their profiles. Create a bunch of samples of your work even if you haven't worked for any clients. You can use tools like ChatGPT to help you perfect the perfect cover letter and really just showcase your work. And if you have any other questions related to Upwork, I have a complete playlist on everything you need to know about Upwork, hourly rate jobs, the desktop time tracker app, fixed rate jobs, everything. And I've linked you to that playlist in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.